All right, the Mississippi Lower River Interpretive Center and Museum. That right there is actually the Mississippi 4 ship, and as you can see, it's on land. Quite a feat of engineering to put it here. It's part of the exhibit. And you can see the structure to go from the actual museum, which I'm standing in now, across the catwalk. And I'll go through here real quick. This is a joint venture project that our company is is doing with another contractor for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And you can see they, this is, there's an architectural firm which is actually setting up most of this stuff. And I can't put this on YouTube because the place isn't open yet. But it is just, that's all the pump room for the big fish tank. All these displays and, uh, I mean, all these actually have running water in them and the children can see how water affects stuff there's your um that's actually a river fish tank that as you can see it's all cloudy it's got to grow bacteria for like another two weeks before fish can go in it and this architectural farm has already put up most of all these placards and timelines and it's obviously engineered or geared towards the uh u.s army corps of engineers you can see their timeline uh, going through I got all these scale models of the boats and the history. Behind that curved wall is a theater. Uh, it's just, I don't know why I don't get to build shit like this. I'm always building endoscopy centers for people's butts. But, just really neat architecture. All those little domes you can see. See, it looks like a big hair. And that thing, those are actually little speaker stations where you push a button um, and it rains down sound on you. And there's the theater. So pretty much all this inside of here is done. And there's been a lot of site issues being right next to the, the channel off of the Mississippi here on Levee Road. There you go. There's the actual name of the place. It's going to be interesting to see this when it opens in a few weeks. Kind of glad I got to come help on this project. This right here, this is falling apart. There's something wrong with the pump here. Uh, as you can see, Vicksburg is where this is. And that piece, as you can see, it's starting to give way a little bit. It needs water underneath it to support it, and they can't put water in it. You can see there's just a little bit of water in there after it all leaked down. And there's more of those speaker stations I was telling you about. And then the outside of this thing, aside from having the boat, which is cool enough, they've got uh, just some of the design details. I mean, you've got double block walls on the inside, excuse me, brick, uh, solid brass handrails. Just got done installing this today. That was a pain in the butt. And the glass, uh, got all that buttoned up the, yesterday. And all these stairs and terrazzo, not only on the floor, but up the walls. And you'll notice all the angles of the windows Pretty nifty. Stuccoed walls on the inside. Some masonite on the floors for protection. Just a really interesting building. And then there's outside, you can see there's my truck and the handrails that I'm working on. But I've had enough of the heat outside today. It's, I'm soaked. Soaked, soaked, soaked. Here are these stainless steel countertops. This is, this is the ceiling of the entry. I mean, exposed frame. I would have been like to have been involved with doing the layout and stuff on that. It's pretty cool. So we're going to start cleaning it Monday. and Got to kind of start staining this concrete Monday. I'll finish those handrails so you can see those tomorrow. And sign.